Baruch Hashem. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. You know, this is the season of Easter. Many say Easter. But it's resurrection season. And it's difficult for people to wrap their arms around the resurrection, but it's very also difficult for people to understand that he truly died on the tree because he was very man and very God. He could have called 10,000 angels to rescue him. But there he was on this tree with his wrists hammered and feet and a sharp, very, very sharp group of uh, four and five inch thorns shoved into a crown on his head and something people don't realize is there was more than just the view of someone with his arms outstretched. When this began to happen to Yeshua, you see there were nerves involved in the face. There were nerves in the arms and feet and hands. And these nerves were on fire as these sharp objects, seven inch nails, went into the body. And he never said anything because one of the reasons it was so hard to speak when you are on a small little stand and you're trying to get your breath. He was asphyxiating, he was suffocating there on the tree, but he managed to say, forgive them, they know not what they do. Imagine the love, imagine the love that held him to the tree. Very man and yet very God. And all of this agony and suffering, there was a price to pay to bring us to Abba, God the Father. There was a price to pay. And many people, it says in the Brit Shah, put out a lie that the body was stolen, that he didn't really die, he swooned. Well, this has been handed down to Muslim and Jew that he didn't really die, that he swooned and somehow escaped. Friend, he tasted death for every man. He tasted the death. He went through it and he died. He died. He had a terrific myocardial infarction Essentially, he died of a heart attack, among other things. And in this bleeding process, in all this bleeding process, he ruptured. Internally, he ruptured. When the centurion came around and soldiers and pierced his side to see if he were dead yet, the issue was blood and water came out, separated because he ruptured. And he did not just simply rupture because of all the barbaric things and brutalizations that had been done to him. It was his broken heart for sin. In the time that he hung there, the father turned his back on him. He turned away, he couldn't look on. Adonai's eyes are too holy to look on sin. He couldn't look on him. No friend, he didn't swoon. There's even evidence by writers regarding the period of time in Israel at that time, at that time, and in the Brit Hadashah that the sun was darkened, there was an earthquake, tombs were opened, and in the holy temple, the curtain separating the priest and the sinners 
was wrenched in part because he tore it. He tore it. And the father received his sacrifice. He received his sacrifice. He died and he was raised from the dead. Baruch Hashem. And there is no debate. You can speculate all you want, but in over 2,000 years, the people who, whose lives have been changed by this one, he is not a dead prophet. He is the living God. And you must come to terms with this. And it is a, my prayer that you will come to terms with this at this season of 2017. Amen. Oh,